there was this beautiful, tall, dark, handsome man. And when I say he was handsome, honey, he... It's your favorite hip hop killer, Queen McGee, and I am back with another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about intuition. Yes, darling. I want to talk about the myths that I see that's out there with intuition. I want to share my book right here. Go ahead, drop it. Um, I want to share about what my book, The Return of the Divine Feminine, talks about as it relates to um, intuition. Uh, not only the myths, I want to talk about how you can develop it refine it and use it to improve your life now let me give you a story i'm going to set the stage and i want to give you a visual idea on where we're going with this video it's going to be a really quick video so i need you to really get get you a pen and a pad and some paper so you can really get this okay so listen up by the way i'm sitting on the pillow because i'm short okay um i don't want my legs swinging and everything so i hope you can see me i'm in frame um here's the deal I'm at a supermarket. I just come back from the gym. I'm sweaty. I have on sweatpants. I don't look very ladylike. My hair is probably much like this, okay? Um, and I just come from the gym. I'm sweaty. I'm in the supermarket. I am looking for a few items. Orange juice, oranges, avocados, and bananas. That's what I'm looking for, okay? So I make it to the supermarket. I go inside, minding my business. I'm in the produce aisle. Looking at the oranges, my peripheral, I could see that there was this beautiful, tall, dark, handsome man. And when I say he was handsome, honey, he was fine, okay? But I'm not looking for anyone and I don't want to get in any trouble. But at the end of the day, I am a woman. And what does that, what do I mean by that, okay? Just because I'm not looking for someone, simply being alive in my feminine, no matter how well I'm dressed or how bad I'm dressed, the essence of your presence can be attractive. Stay right there and stay with me, okay? Yes, stay with me. We're not going to even get into how you're dressing and how you're looking and all that and, and, and attraction. I want you to stay with me, okay? So I'm getting oranges, and then I can feel him come behind me and walk and he goes by where the salads are they get frozen that's called um, the refrigerated salads um and so i can see him from my peripheral but i don't want to see him if that makes any sense i don't want to be engaged because i you know anyway, make a long story short i'm trying to get the oranges and then i hear a voice that says can i have an orange can i have a bag of oranges so my natural instincts i'm very flirtatious by nature and that you know it, sometimes it can get me in trouble because people don't understand what i mean they think i like it when i'm just saying oh my gosh you're so handsome or you know i'll be extra complimentary and that got me in trouble you know i'm working on it but it's just my natural way of being and so if you love me you understand that that's just the way i'm i am so i hand him the oranges and i said oh my gosh you're extremely handsome and he was he didn't know what to say so he took the oranges he didn't say anything he took the oranges and he went away and after i said what i said i did a little bit of self-check and i'm like karima here we go again nobody asked you a full compliment okay so i take me and my bag of oranges and i go to the other side of the supermarket to get um orange juice so i'm on the other side of the supermarket getting orange juice but my intuition told me i said this man is coming back he's coming back even though i said i didn't want to be seen or anything I drop a compliment in his spirit. And so if he's any, you know, any bit masculine in nature where he's attracted to women, that will do something to him and it will activate that whole idea of trying to conquer, right? So, and I teach that in the book, right? On how to do subtle, subtle things. But um, I'm at the orange juice and I can feel him coming, okay? So I think to myself, get the orange juice and walk straight walk this walk forward 
to, towards the cash register so we can get out of here. So I'm walking towards the cash register to get out. And as soon as I turn the corner, who I meet? And he said, thank you for the compliment. I didn't get a chance to say thank you for the compliment, but you're absolutely beautiful. I said, thank you. And then my antennas went up. Ding, 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 ding. There's a woman in the area. And it's like a little, you know, wah, wah, wah. It's like, wah, wah, wah. It's like a little alarm went off in my head. I'm like, oh gosh, there's a woman nearby. Let me get out of here. I don't want anyone to feel any kind of way. Regardless of what my intentions are and regardless of what his intentions are, let me hone in my energy. Let me pull my energy back, you know, because we can do that too. We can pull our energy back. So I'm pulling my energy back. And, um, and so he was like, uh, He's like, you're not going to say you're welcome. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You're welcome. My mind was someplace else. So anyway, um, before we can even break or what have you, there was a moment of silence. And behind me was the woman. Let me tell you something about intuition. A woman can be on one side of the, of the, of the supermarket, okay? Her husband can be on the other side of the supermarket. But a woman's intuition will tell her, hold up. Where is my husband? There's somebody nearby. And she'll spring into action. And she'll go looking to see where he's at. Because that is what a woman's intuition will do. Especially a woman's intuition who has not been extremely developed. And we'll talk about that further, okay? But I want you to stay right there. Rock right there for just a moment. Behind me was the woman. And she said, you think I'm stupid, huh? And... I was like pulled in every bit of all of my energy because I needed the sister to know that mama, listen, you ain't got to worry. But what a lot of women don't understand, and this is why I write my books, so that women can understand men and men can understand women and women can understand themselves. Because women are a mystery to themselves, right? Even to themselves, women are mystery. I walk away and I said, y'all have a good one. Take care. I, 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 I leave. I hear them talking. Not... I don't want to be, you know, I don't know why they're talking what they're talking about. But as I'm leaving, I said, gosh, I wish, I wish this young lady would have read one of my books. I wish she would have read one of my books because, and hear me, not all men are looking to get a date for a woman that they see in the supermarket. Sometimes men just want to admire beauty. Sometimes they just want to be in the presence of beauty. Sometimes they just want to see it, even if they have their own beauty. Hear me. Now, this is going to go over some of your heads, especially if you haven't, you know, developed since, you know, especially if you're a jealous woman, you're going to have a hard time understanding what I'm about to say to you. When a sun of energy is in the room, and you know this if you read book one, when a sun of energy is in the room, I don't care if you're married, if you're a bishop, if you're a pastor, if you're a preacher, whoever you are as a man and whoever you are attached to as a woman, your wife, the babies, I don't care who it is. When a sun of energy steps up in the place, okay, when a sun of energy is present and she comes into the place, the man is going to look. Even if it means he's going to get slapped, he's going to get cursed out, even if it's just for a moment he wants to take in just a little bit of that feminine energy, even if it means he's going to be in trouble. So the day at the supermarket with this guy, this woman's intuition tells her that my husband is on the other side of the room, other side of the market looking for some woman, and there's a woman in the space, and let me go show up. And so she, she acted on her intuition. Okay, but sometimes what happens is, is that in this case, she could have, her antennas could have went off, but the other part of her intuition could have told her whether or not his actions were looking, physically looking for someone, or if he was just trying to take a look. In this case, I believe the fellow was just trying to take a look and get a glimpse of another woman with no other intentions, other just looking, observing and being stimulated by the eye. And this is something that I want to teach women to understand, is that when your man, uh, now now listen, gawking and all of that, looking at women, that's something totally different. When I talk about that, we're talking about uh, mature men here who are observing uh, a beautiful woman and taking it in. It's natural. If you think that you're going to be with your husband or your mate for 20, 35 years and he never sees another woman that he's attracted to or never sees another woman that's beautiful or looks good or whatever, and he wants to take a moment just to kind of observe, then you're fooling yourself. 
And you got to be a certain caliber of woman to understand that it is natural. Attraction is natural. Now, what they do with that, that's what you hold them accustomed. That's what you hold them accountable to. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm out of my car thinking, this could have happened a million ways. Did they need to argue in the supermarket? Did that need to happen? An argument in the supermarket because uh, she had checked him. And then, you know, you can't tell people how to check. They, they, she probably felt you want to act up in the supermarket. You're going to get checked in the supermarket. So I can see that side too. But um, when you become a little bit more evolved, you understand that it's just a woman in the supermarket. Right? How freeing would that be to be able to be so sure and so secure in who you are as a woman and what your relationship is and then also so secure and developed as far as your intuition is concerned that it could have just been that's just another woman in the supermarket. How, how freeing would that be? If you could use your intuition in such a way that you're able to pinpoint exactly what that thing is. Now, what I've learned is, is that women and intuition today is, you know, when someone who has betrayed you, you know, when your lover is looking at someone with the intent of, you know, wanting to be with them and cheating and all that, you know, whether or not that woman over there at the party is the one who actually really slept with your lover, you know, those things. But if we can uh, use our intuition to learn about the bad in others and be suspicious of others, can we not also use that same intuition to empower our lives and then also align us with friends that maybe won't betray us or maybe align us with men who are looking for a monogamous relationship or align us with men who are who who do find us completely enough can we not use our intuition for that that's what I want to challenge you guys with in this video okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my book the return to the divine feminine go ahead and drop it there again I'm going to bring that book up and I'm going to also read from the book the chapter intuition i want you to get your notepad you are getting an inside scoop here today because i'm going to read to you that chapter and i want you to really understand where i'm going with this okay and i want you to learn a little bit more about your intuition your intuition is not just merely simply so that you can find out whether or not your lover is cheating whether or not you can find out where he's you know if he said he was where he said he was last night or find out whether or not let me go ahead and check that phone because something is on it you know let me go ahead and check that message because let me check that Facebook you know your intuition is not merely just for that we reduce intuition to share snoopiness right can it be more so that's what this video is about so I want you to get a pen and a paper let's go ahead and I'm gonna bring up a book I'm gonna read from it and then I'll see you in just a second Intuition. Intuition is as real as the forearm you're holding this book with, or the eyes you're reading these pages with. The only difference is you can't see it or touch it, but it doesn't make it any less real. We're not talking about folklore here. We're talking about biological sciences. If you were born a female, you've been exposed to this female hormone responsible for intuition. Since your mother's womb, you've been exposed to the hormone and have had plenty of time to develop and to use it as Mother Nature had attended. Intuition is the most important of the four divine superpowers of women. Intuition is the first of the four you're learning about in this book. But what drives intuition to work is the hormone estrogen and the biological makeup of the reproductive roles in both men and women. Some would argue. Some would argue that men also have this ability and that intuition is not only found in women. I wouldn't disagree with this argument completely, but I will stand firm with the fact that women dominate and lead with this superpower. Mother Nature gave intuition to women to ensure that she is adequately equipped to care for her young. Your ability to know or discern is backed by Mother Nature. Going back in time, the mother cared for the young and raised them. While the father assumed his responsibilities of caring for the family outside of the tribe. While exercising your...
motherhood abilities. Watching your children grow up and become an adult wasn't just about watching. It was about guiding and doing and being able to interpret your child's way of communicating while they are forming language skills. It is a necessary part of motherhood. Being able to decipher what your children mean by reading their facial expressions and changes and studying their nonverbal cues and their body language. <laughs> I love this part. This is really going to give it to you guys. Okay, now listen up here, okay? So it says that, you know, body language is a way of communication. Being able to predict which child of your four children needed more attention or determining which of them was sick but was too young to speak or being able to understand without words is a biological phenomenon. Y'all hear that? Listen up now. Now, this phenomenon for women, of course, right? Nature gave it to us, not solely because of evolution, but because intuition is necessary, is a necessary tool that ensures humanity survives. It gives us the ability to predict, to understand, to know, to feel, and to be the human oracle. Yes, the oracle. You see, precognition, wisdom, and insightfulness are all feminine traits. A man might be able to see the bull coming and perhaps can calculate how much time it would take to escape, but the woman will feel him coming before it enters the man's view. A woman seated in her femininity is at ease in her knowledge and the quality of her wisdom is undeniable. There's no denying that intuition exists and there is no denying that Mother Nature gave it an abundance to women. So why Mother Nature gave the power and abundance to women? And yes, women are necessary for survival. I mean, if you reduce intuition to flights of fancy or sheer myth, then you're missing out on a superior pillar responsible for expressing femininity. You see, intuition is superior to all other feminine powers because being able to distinguish or perceive danger before things are visible to the naked eye, it doesn't just save the woman, it saves the tribe. This sensory skill is necessary for queendom building in every home needs this level of perception. You see, a woman who has zoned in on that part of her femininity is not only able to perceive danger, but she can. She can sense a threat before the threat appears. You see, this level, uh, let's, let's stop it right there because this is, um, you need to read the book, buy the book, buy the book, buy the book because femininity is deeper than the pink dress you're wearing. Buy the book. Let me go back to chatting with you. I want to thank you for watching this video. I am hoping that you learned something from my book. Return to Divine Feminine. I'm hoping that um, you got some jewels out of this video and I'm really hoping that you're going to have a very loving and prosperous new year full of all that your heart desires and I want you to understand that you have the power to create the life that you desire darling. Yes you do. You have the power to create the life that you want but sometimes we have to do things a little bit different so the next time that I see you I'm hoping that you have the love that you want I'm hoping that you have the life that you want, and I'm hoping that you are a little bit more confident the next time I see you, okay? Until next time, I want you to be empowered, be inspired, and be well.